hello viewers in this video we want to look at multiplication of sword multiplication of sword has to do with total multiplication there is nothing like collection of lifetimes when you have sword you collect them and multiply them together and there is nothing like what is common to which and which is common to that so let's see how multiplication of sword is carried out the first question says square root of 36 by square root of 81 this is a direct question square root of 36 there is no doubt that the answer is 6 multiply by square root of 81 which is 9 and the next thing is to multiply 6 by 9 and that is going to give us 54 so that is that about question number one question number two says square root of 50 times square root of 72 so this now we have to break it down to get a perfect square root and another number which will multiply to give us 50 and that is 25 times 2 multiply by this can be broken down into 9 times 8 and from this we can also say 36 times 2 because if you look at it we can break it further into 4 times 2 which is 9 times 4 times 2 and all together we can say this is 9 times 4 36 but let's leave that and continue with our calculation so square root of 25 is 5 multiply by root 2 times square root of 9 is 3 square root of 4 is 2 multiply by root 2 we have 5 root 2 times 3 times 2 6 with another root 2 so the rule of multiplication is that you multiply the numbers together and multiply the roots also together so this will give us 5 times 6 30 and root 2 times root 2 that will give us root 4 and root 4 is 2 so 30 times 2 will give us 60. question number 3 says 3 root 6 squared don't forget that whenever we have a square it means this number is carrying a square 3 square multiply by another root carrying its own squared and the square root of 3 is 9 multiply by square root and a square are meeting here so the two are going to cancel out each other and we are left with ordinary 6 and 9 times 6 is going to give us 54. Question number 4 says root 3 raised to power 5. From what we have here, it is obvious that we cannot solve root 5 at once. But we can break it into pieces by saying root 3 raised to power 2 times another root 3 raised to power 2 we have power of 4 now remaining 1 times 1 root 3 so this we cancel out on each other we are going to be left with 3 times 3 times root 3 3 times 3 is equal to 9 root 3 and that is our final answer 
for question number four. Question number five says root two times root one zero eight times root twenty times root eight. So this is root two times we break this down into root nine times twelve times this one into four times five and this into four times two don't be in a hurry and take your time to look at what we have written so we go by saying root two times root nine times this 12 can be further broken into four times three again times what is the square root of four two root five for this one times the square root of four is two leaving us with root two then we have root two times square root of nine three times square root of four two root three times two root five times two root two so we can now multiply all the figures and also all the roots so we have three times two six six times two twenty four are uh, twelve and twelve times two twenty four so we have twenty four roots two times three six six times five thirty and thirty times two sixty so we need to look at 60 and see if there is any perfect square root we can use to multiply another number and that is 24 root 4 times 15 4 times 15 will give us 60 the square root of 4 is 2 if you multiply 2 by 24 you have your final answer to be 48 root 15. I want you to try and solve these two problems on your own. Don't look at how long it is because it does not matter. What really matters is you getting the solution right. So try to solve these two problems. Leave your answers in the comment section. Subscribe if you have not done so. Until I meet you again, remain blessed.